and Debo's. It's your girl April, and I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that. So I'm pretty sure that you guys have heard of that magical bra. You know, the Instagram bra. I have seen it all over the gram. Um, and I have seen it on YouTube as well. Was I interested in it? I was somewhat interested in it, but I wasn't like really going to go crazy over it because I really didn't think it would work like that for me, especially because I'm older, so I don't have like really perky boobs. They don't sit up. They're not, you know what I mean? They're not new boobs. So I would just kind of think like this product would only work for certain boob status. So Fleek Boutique. Fleek Boutique um, asked me to review what I like to try out the magical bra. So I was like, all right, I'm game for it, you know. I ain't got to pay for it, so I'm going to try this out. Now, let me tell you, they sent me two sizes, too, and it was nicely wrapped, okay? Each bra comes inside one of these silver bags, so your bra will come in a box like this inside of a very concealed bag, so in case you don't want nobody to know what you're about to put on them tits, then it's concealed, okay? Send me a size C and a size D. I got two black ones. This is the C cup. This is the first one that I tried on. I did put the plastic back on it because it's really sticky. To me, it's more or less kind of like a gooey sticky. And this is the D cups. They're a little bit different in sizes, not by much. I think like for the D, it's a little bit longer on the sides, but as far as the actual cup size itself, it's not really that much bigger. Um, it's more or less has to do with the sides right here. So this is the D, and the D fit pretty decent on me. So there is a trick to wearing these. Um, the first one that I tried on was the C, and it was not to my liking. I'm like, listen, my boobs don't sit up. They're not new, so I don't really know or understand how this is going to work for me. Had to watch a couple of videos on YouTube to figure this out, okay? First of all, I suggest to always make sure to put the plastic back on it because like I said, it's like a gooey stickiness. So, let me tell y'all. When this thing starts peeling off your areola, child, it's a very sticky, gooey situation. So for me, it kind of was like pulling on the skin. But the trick to putting this on is you you basically need to pull your boobs up and over and it kind of like sit this underneath it a little bit and then start to pull as tight as you can with this string right here. In the video, I'm going to show you how I did it. I actually wore a bathing suit for this video. Um, it's because I was already doing a try on. And the bathing suit that I had on came with these little cups, look like menstrual cups okay and they're very hard shaped and they really don't give your boobs any form and they slide all over the place so i decided to take them out and i wore the bathing suit without any type of support in the video then i decided to try this on and it looks a whole lot better so there is trickery it's witchery it's magical there is a way to wear this but in my honest opinion I don't think like everybody can wear these if your boobs are heavy or bigger or saggier I don't really think this is going to help I will say this this is great for a bathing suit as I stated in the video other than that I really don't find myself wearing this um, anywhere too often because um, I did notice I had to try on about five more bathing suits afterwards and it kind of being that that's hot it kind of was unpeeling to, like unrolling was coming off but it does work so my suggestion you would have to make sure that you kind of like stay dry a lot of people would suggest putting deodorant underneath your boob area just to hold it in place so that way you don't get sweaty because the gooiness will make you sweat so that's the number one thing to it but i really don't in my honest opinions feel like everybody can wear these but this is like a really good bathing suit hat so if you have a bathing suit, you know bathing suits don't really offer a lot of support. This thing is magical for it. And you will see me wearing this in the video. But as for an all the time thing, I don't think I would wear this all the time because it just kind of hurts when it comes off or if it starts unpeeling. It kind of the gooey, the glueiness to it kind of hurts. But these are really great for like, I believe like summertime wear. It all depends on what you have to wear this with. But in my opinion, I would definitely put on like some nipple covers for this. So that way it doesn't pull at your areola skin. But you can definitely check this invisible bra out, magical bra on Fleek Boutique. And just stay tuned for the video. I'm not showing any boobage or flashing you guys. But I just wanted you to see how the magical free bra 
works. Okay. All right, guys. So as I was saying, this is the magical bra. And as you can see, I do have on my bathing suit and I don't really have any cleavage. The bathing suit came with um, two of these little type of cups. They're really kind of like weird shaped. So cone shaped. No one's boobs are shaped like this. And for my boob size, they weren't fitting. So I removed them. So the first one that I tried on the other day was... Um, a size C, which was kind of small, but I wasn't doing it the correct way, so they sent me two sizes. This is the D size, which I feel will give me like a little bit better, you know, support. Okay, so this is how it looks without me pulling it. I want to make it really tight. So this thing is really sticky. Oh, okay. Look. That looks better, right? So. And as you can see, it did give me some cleavage and it kind of made them look a little bit better than what they did. But there's a trick to really, really putting this on. Oh my God, like you really have to be really super careful. Um, for me, it kind of like hurt my boobs a little bit just from the stickiness. But you do need to kind of like pull your boobs up and over and then put this on so that way it's 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 able to get underneath and kind of like lift it. So as I was saying about this, you really do need to lift your boobs up and pull them over so that way this can fit properly. Um, I'm not really sure about the size difference. Like the first one that I tried on was a C and it was kind of small, but I don't think I was doing it the proper way um, because now it just fits a little bit more tighter and my boobs are definitely sitting up. This makes a huge difference in my bathing suit. This makes me feel a lot more secure. So me personally, what would I wear this with? I would probably wear it with my bathing suits because a lot of bathing suits, they don't have support and the support that they do have is not really enough. And I ain't never looked like this in none of my damn bathing suits. So I will give it to them for this. This is great for your bathing so suits. I'm just saying, this is good for like summer weather. Now, are they going to stick on all day? I don't really know if I need them on all day. Like I said, I would just wear this with my bathing suit. So hope you guys enjoyed my show and tell of the bra and I hope you got a concept of how to use it and saw the difference that it makes in the bathing suits. This is like the best bathing suit bra there is. Like seriously, bathing suit bra material. But make sure that you put the plastic back on the area so that way it does continue to stick. Um, I'm not really sure how many usages you can get out of these, but depending on how you would wear it, definitely work for you. I decided that I want to add quotes of the day to my videos. I want my videos to have a lot more purpose and I think this will hopefully be beneficial for you guys and I hope that these quotes really speak to you all. So today's first ever quote of the day is money has no soul and what I mean by that is if you want to see changes in your life that are positive and if you want your goals to come true, you have to start thinking about how can I help other people rather than thinking about uh, how do I make a lot of money, if that makes sense. So that's what money has no soul means and that's today's quote of the day. Let me know what you thought of it. But let's just jump right into this bikini try on haul. I'm starting off with this really fun black bikini and they're all black this week. Everything's black. I don't know why. And this top is just so cool. So this is the first bikini top and I pretty much have never seen anything like it. I love the cutouts. It has kind of some side boob. It shows it has a cutout in the very front as well. And then when you turn it around, it has a wide open back with just one little strap so it's definitely one of the most unique bathing suits i've ever seen and i adore it i think it could be worn as a bandeau as well like i could probably wear it underneath this what i'm wearing right now and then for the bottoms i just have some black bottoms from fashion nova they are pretty cheeky and they have some nice ruching in the back right there 
So the nice thing about black bikinis is that you can pretty much mix and match any bottoms with any top because it's going to match. So this next bikini is also a very unique one, which you guys know that I love being different. So this one is a beautiful black one with gold details on it and a gold zipper. And it's really nice because obviously it's adjustable. You can zip it really high up or really low or somewhere in the middle like I did. And I just think that, that it's so fun. And then in the back, it actually clasps at the top right here. And it has a huge keyhole, kind of like in a triangle shape, which, which is really flattering and fun. And then it clasps at the bottom as well. So that is the top. And then the uh, bottoms are a little bit more full coverage which is nice they go a little bit high high rise and then they are just barely cheeky in the back so these are really cute and comfy and overall i really just love this bikini i think it will definitely be a statement at any pool party this summer for sure all right so i've never showed you this bikini before but it has to be one of my favorites just because it's so fun i really love to wear things that make people laugh as well and that are just so different that it gets people to be like wow what is she wearing so this is kind of i guess i call it my shark uh bikini and this i oh my gosh i wore this on a cruise and it was just the best time everyone was giving me so many compliments so it has the little eyes on the front and then it has the teeth right here at the bottom oh, and i think it's so adorable and then the back is a razor back uh in the back so it's very sporty very comfortable full coverage and the teeth are just so much fun and then the bottoms ha are high-waisted as well and they have the same teeth going along the bathing suit so how cute is this one let me know what you guys think of this one as well just i don't know i just think it's so much fun so this is the next one and it's an amazing vacation bikini so i'll try to leave all of these linked down below as well if you're interested this next one is from fashion nova and it's really tiny but that's because i got an extra small which i don't know why i did that probably should have gotten a small but this was just a very sporty comfortable black bikini and it just has a scoop right here and then the back is really fun because it has a lot of crisscross detail in it and it's also adjustable since it is a tie closure so that's really nice for someone like me who has a really wide rib cage or broad shoulders I have all of that going on and then the bottoms are just very cheeky and really complement this Top, so it just goes really nicely together and then as always I love to include a one piece in my videos so this one has a really beautiful netting detail that's in a circle shape and it even has a flower in the center so I just think it's, this is so stunning and very elegant and then in the back it kind of crosses a little bit and then it's also a tie closure so this one's going to be very comfortable and I also think that this would be very cute for vacation and you could wear a maxi skirt with this. Let's say if you guys are just walking around and you want to have your bathing suit on, you could throw on like a maxi skirt or possibly jeans and it would kind of look like a bodysuit. So that is the last bikini that I wanted to show you guys. I'm also planning on going live from now on every single week. I'm just going to choose a time and day that works best for everyone. I was thinking Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know if Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time works for you guys for me to go live on my YouTube channel. And if so, I will go live every single Saturday. If that day is not a good day for you since it's the weekend, let me know if you would prefer a week a weekday instead. So I will be doing a poll on my channel. So make sure you vote on there so I know when to go live because a few of you missed my last live and I don't want that to happen. So that's why I'm gonna put it on a schedule and it's easier for me and it's easier for you guys to keep up with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you loved this video and I love I hope that you loved me implementing my new quotes of the day 
in my videos. I think that it's a way for me to reach my audience more and communicate more with you guys and hopefully have an impact on your life more. And thank you so much for watching.